You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we're doing recap of Raw from January 15th. 15th? Yes. Yeah. Um, decent show overall. Mm-hmm. Um, good first hour. A very strong first hour, actually. Yeah. Um, so I guess we'll get right into it, right? Yeah. So uh, before the show starts, they do a universal titer, title picture uh, video package kind of thing mm. where they went over with Braun ripping whatever that was, the scaffolding. Oh, the, yeah, with his uh, grappling hook. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I saw somebody Photoshop a picture of his head onto Silent Bob's body. So it was Jay and... And him because he used the uh, grappling hook and uh, I don't remember if it was I think it was more rats he used it in uh-huh. but it was just funny <laughs> anyway uh, so they show that and then they open the show and then Braun comes out mm-hmm. and he's saying how uh, he's gonna win uh, the universal title at the rumble um, and then Angle comes out with a bunch of security mm-hmm. guards so like what's he doing Braun it's not how we do things around here we settle things in the ring not backstage with grappling hooks <laughs> <laughs> you cause this company a lot of money. Yeah, that's funny. Because of all the destruction that they've staged <laughs> in, over like the years, just insane things. Yep. Um. So, like you said, he he said that Braun caused a lot of destruction. He could have permanently oh, injured yeah, right. Kane and mm-hmm. Brock Lesnar, and there could have been no match at the Royal Rumble. Yeah. Yeah. And said, well, speaking of the Royal Rumble, you're not going to be in the title match mm-hmm. because you're fired. Yeah, I don't think uh, Kurt Angle pulled it off quite as no. well as uh, Vince does. All right, uh, yeah, we can keep going. I, I got something to say after this. All right, so it's funny because Angle kind of just stands there. He's like, "All right, I'm going to leave now," and then he leaves with security, like, kind of trying to block. <laughs> Braun's egg, uh, following him, yeah. but Braun goes to leave, and the security just lets him walk past, like, no effort whatsoever. Are you going to stand in his way? I'm not saying that I would. I'm just <laughs> saying that they get paid to, to put themselves These in the independent arm, right? wrestlers didn't sign up for this. I guess that's true. Um, All right, so, so I have one complaint about this. Oh, no. We have, what, a ton of writers that work on both shows. Uh-huh. So this is the same crap that happened with the Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens thing, where they were gonna if they lost the match, mm-hmm. they would get fired. Mm-hmm. Yet Sami was gonna be in the mixed match challenge. Well, he was slated to be. Well, I guess that uh, yeah. I just feel he's like he's in it too. Yes, Braun is teaming with Alexa. Okay. They should have went a step further and like had. Uh, who's on there? Charlie, right? Mm-hmm. Interview Alexa and be like, so how do you, you know, you're going to have to find a new partner or something like that. Just to kind of, you know. Make it make sense. Right, exactly. Just go that sure. extra step. You have all these writers. At least don't do what you always do and make things be lazy. Because they well, yeah. telegraph the fact that it's obviously going to resolve right. itself. Right, exactly. That, that is true. I didn't even think nah, that. No, that was my, my one gripe with Because, like, I, f- I honestly figured that he was going to stop at you're not in the title mm-hmm. match anymore and suspend him or something. Right, yeah. And that, and I figured they just wanted Kane versus Brock in a singles God. match for whatever reason. Terrible. But maybe just to have, mm-hmm. like, uh, The Undertaker interfere or something like that on Kane's behalf. Yeah. And then that sets up Undertaker versus Brock number five or whatever. Stop guys, saying things. No, I'm just saying. Stop like, saying things. Somebody may be watching this I'm, and think that's a great idea. I'm just saying what the WWE could possibly be I thinking. I guess so. I'm not saying it's a good idea. I'm just yeah. saying that it's definitely possible. Mm-hmm. Um, then we go backstage, and Braun is very angry. He's <laughs> yeah. walking around, and security is kind of like, Braun, you, you need to leave without getting any any physical altercation with them. They were keeping their distance a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Um, so they go toward the door, right? And then he started attacking the security? Well, or- they they get to the door, mm-hmm. and then they remind him that he needs to leave. Mm. And then he goes... <laughs> That's when he says, you well, can say it. Well, <laughs> no, well, what happens is, he's like, no, I'm not going. And then the security like grabs him, and then he just starts laying waste to all of them. Oh, my God. Everyone is on the ground... <laughs> And then he starts walking back in towards the arena. And then some security guards, Braun, you need to leave. 
I'm not done until everyone gets these hands. <laughs> it was hilarious. Oh my god. So good. Uh, I was dying through the entire first hour. Yeah. It was it was a very well yeah. written uh mm-hmm. story for the like you said for the first hour of the yeah. show. Yeah. Um it continues further, but we'll get to it when oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. when we're there. Yep. So up next we had a rematch from last week, mm-hmm. the Bar versus Titus Worldwide. Yes. Um so Surprisingly enough, we got the same result as last week. Yeah, just the outcome was a little different, or the uh, well, the, the way they the way got it there. went. Yes, yeah. Uh, I, I'm surprised, but kind of like relieved. Maybe not relieved, but I, I like the fact that they're mm-hmm. kind of making Apollo and Titus look yes. formidable. Oh, absolutely. But it, that, it's always one of my biggest gripes with WWE. Is they're very inconsistent. Yes, you can make somebody look like the worst wrestler in the world, mm-hmm. and next week they'll. And especially because those two, well, a Titus has a former tag team champion, mm-hmm. so That's obviously true. he 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 knows, or they had some faith in him at some point. And Apollo Cruz is a very athletic guy. Mm-hmm. His timing is not great, from what I can tell. There was a couple iffy looking, like when he landed on Cesaro's shoulder and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, I was like, oh, he's that very didn't look ambitious, good. but his timing is off. Like that time and at the Raw where he, oh, tried he missed to do- the rope, right? He was fighting Jericho. Yeah, well, no, he did. He he wasn't supposed to get up when oh, Jericho Richard was going for the line assault, assault. Right? Okay, yes, that's what it was. Yeah. So, but besides that, mm-hmm. you know, a lot of his you know in ring work is is solid. So. The fact that he's always the, smiling. Well, yeah, but you know he's a he's a face. He's allowed to do that. Um, oh man! But besides that, there's really nothing wrong with him. But they keep on having him lose big match. Well, not yeah. big matches, but no, like yeah. matches that he's in, and then you know. Uh, it, and I really like the addition of Dana Brooke with them. I think it yeah, gives her. It gives her to something do, to do, and she's I, not doing a bad job of oh, it. Oh no, because she's entertaining. Yeah, in absolutely. Her role. Mm-hmm. I would like to think that she's like still working like house shows and stuff, maybe in the performance center. Well, they made a big deal about her being in the Royal Rumble. She's not in it. Yes, she is. She's I thought she was. I thought they. I, they in the WTF moments from last night at uh, the beginning of oh, the show. You watched them from Raw. Oh, you said last night. I'm sorry. I, I we're talking about Raw still. Okay. Um, I wa- yeah. I watched. I didn't guys. watch SmackDowns. So oh, okay. Ross said that. At the, be- at the beginning of the show, mm-hmm. she was in it. And at the end of the show, Mary- mysteriously, oh, she, she was, was no gone. Yes, that's right, right, right. So I didn't that, notice that myself, right. but yes. that's usually because I don't pay attention mm-hmm. during like the that kind of stuff. All right, back to the match. So uh, the bar was setting up for their double team uh, white noise. Yes. And, and guess who it was? Mr. Nerd himself. You know what's funny? I heard his music, mm-hmm. and I'm like, I thought it was American Alpha's music for some reason. <laughs> so Jason Jordan comes out, and of course his music obviously plays, distracts yes. Seamus and Cesaro, like, huh? and uh, Apollo rolled up Seamus, right? Yeah. Um, well, I think Titus jumped onto the onto the apron, mm-hmm. and I think Cesaro went for him. Oh, that's right. And Seamus wasn't paying attention, then he got rolled, rolled up, up by yes. Apollo. Um, so you think there's any chance that they add Titus Worldwide into this? match at uh, the rumble if, if if this was two weeks earlier yeah yes they i, I don't think they're gonna do anything with them at the 25 25th anniversary show right which would disqualify that from being the case yeah i guess that's true um are they announced for the rumble any idea yes they're both in the oh, rumble. both are in, okay so both then are in the yeah rumble. since they seem to be making a big deal about that yeah that, which is fine the, because you want you want teams that look like they can beat other mm-hmm. teams yeah. because when they're put in matches, then you feel right. like there's a chance that they could because win. Because the, these two matches have been, well, technically fluke victories. Mm-hmm. Which is fine yeah. because, you know, that that opens the door for potential future mm-hmm. uh, storylines. Yeah. Like with um, like with the club. Right. They, it's hard to take them seriously because all they did was lose for such a long time. Mm-hmm. Now they're winning... If we were, uh, I guess, less educated wrestling fans, we would not really notice. But mm-hmm. you know, we're like, okay, they lost all the time. Yeah. Like, now they, it's hard to take them seriously. It's true. So, uh, but yeah, so 
Jason Jordan comes out. Of course, Rollins follows behind. What the hell are you doing? Yeah, he was not happy with... Uh, Head timing as usual, Jason. Yeah. and he, It's funny because he looks like his like older brother. Mm-hmm. And he's like, what am I going to do with you? <laughs> um, and we go backstage and uh, Braun is continuing to terrorize the backstage he area. He destroyed yeah, Kurt Angle's in, office. Right, and yeah, he took a chair and threw it through the TV mm-hmm. and then he ripped a painting off the wall. It was fantastic. Yeah, he likes throwing chairs. He does. Yeah, he's good at that. It's too bad it wasn't a uh, computer chair or a rolling chair. Yeah, Like he chucked at Roman Reigns' <laughs> head. One of my favorite parts. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. So, yeah, and then they go to commercial, right? Mm-hmm. Come back, and we're in catering, and yes. someone <laughs> comes running in and goes, Braun's on his way! Everybody leave, or whatever he said. Yep. And so, uh... Kurt Braun Hawkins in. is innocently mm-hmm. sitting at a table <laughs> eating his dinner, or whatever. Yep, and he gets thrown through a table, uh, or chokeslam through the table, right? Yes. And then, uh, is that when we see the guy come up with cake? Or was that later on? Well, the, yeah, the guy walked yeah, over holding a platter with cake. Yeah. Braun and, picks up okay. a big slice, shoves <laughs> it in his it mouth, and then he's... That's uh, great. So, on, on Twitter, Kurt Hawkins had posted, he said, I may have gotten beat up, but at least I didn't lose, so that's something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so good. Yeah. Uh, it, it is so nice when you have people who, like... They accept can, their role. Yeah, they, well, yeah, they can embrace the what they've been given Mm -hmm. and you know that's the difference between like people who can appreciate the fact that they're working for this company as opposed to people who feel like they deserve more and they're like right even if they're in a back like a not in a like a big role there's they're not happy with the fact that they're not main eventing or whatever kind of like emma i guess i don't know i didn't really look i didn't really look too much into her Mm -hmm. gripes yeah so but I can understand that. Oh yeah, yeah. there's you know there's. <clears throat> but you're gonna people. have people that are team players and people that aren't. It's mm-hmm. just that's just. It's like if Roman wasn't like the top guy. Oh, you heard mm-hmm. about what happened? No, there I... was a whole big steroid sting. I guess, oh, that dealer. I did hear. Yeah. Yes, yeah, with uh, with names like they mm-hmm. did with baseball a few years ago. Yeah. Oh, it was a long, longer. Yeah, than that. It was a little long. Yeah. It's like over a decade mm-hmm. ago. But same concept. Yeah. But. I don't see anything coming up. Well, what what I was going to say is if Roman, like, all of a sudden just stopped getting any kind of push and mm-hmm. was doing the kind of like the crap that Hawkins is doing, not to the same extreme. <laughs> 150 losing streak. But, yeah, like, he went from being the big main event guy to nothing. You know, who knows how he would react to that. So Don't worry. We will never figure find, find out. It's certainly true. <laughs> all right. Oh, man. So up next we have uh, Enzo comes out with Tony Nice. Mm-hmm. Um, he's, he said uh, apparently he just like Braun Strowman is also a monster among men. Yeah, this confused me a little bit. Well, you know, Enzo kind of just likes to talk a lot. He does. Words just um, fall out of the man's mouth. It's true. Mm-hmm. And then he says that Cedric, you have a uh, a match against me at the Rumble, but first you need to get through my boy, what Tony Abs? Tony Abs, yeah. And uh, so and then. Ang- uh, Alexander comes out with gold dust. Mm. So apparently they're a team now. Yep. They're, I guess, part of the Mix Max challenge. <laughs> you got a cruiserweight and a normal guy. It's mixed. <laughs> I don't think that's how it works. Oh, that's upsetting. <laughs> oh, man. Well, the cruiserweights do get treated as poorly as the women, exactly. too. Exactly. So fair enough. So, um, but yeah, they, they kind of go back at mm-hmm. him. And then uh, Alexander does Enzo's thing with the. Uh, he says that. Your eye and your ankle are just are uh, yeah. S A W F T soft yeah. thing. Yeah. It was pretty funny. It was. Yeah. Um, so you think there's any chance that Goldust turns on Cedric? No. No. Mm-mm. Not now. No. All right. I I think that he's just there to um, just fill out the roster because mm. everyone's hurt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, or I should say. The, the roster is a lot slimmer than it was a few mm-hmm. months ago. Yeah. Because you, you lost two people. You have Kendrick's out. Mm-hmm. Um, Swan is gone. Mm-hmm. Um, TJP has actually He's been back. on 205 Live. Yes. But that's probably just because no one else is around. <laughs> um, so your roster so limited. Yeah, it's true. And you don't want to just pair. Or, mm-hmm. Although this is random. You don't you don't want to just pair another random cruiserweight 
and making it so they can't do anything. Yeah, that's true. So and it gives Goldust some TV time. Yeah, and you can't have um, you can't have the Zo train going up against one person because you're gonna make Alexander look too strong mm-hmm. mm. for overcoming over and over again. Right. So that just kind of makes it harder to believe that any of the heels could take over and at the same time for him to lose. So Fair. I, I think that this is probably the easiest way for them yeah, to, that's true. to go about it. And Goldust, you know, he's, he's a good presence. Mm-hmm. He's strange, he but is. he's a good presence. Yep. Especially mm-hmm. when he, like, threatens Enzo <clears throat> on the outside, did that teeth thing that he does. <laughs> Oh, man. It's that good was, stuff. Yep. Then we got the match. But before that, we did get some more destruction back, backstage. Yes. I don't remember exactly what he did at that point. Well, um, I think it was him just laying out people, mm-hmm. if not mistaken. Oh, yeah. Probably, probably just, just more security down. guards. Yeah. Um, <sighs> then we got, yes, Alexander versus Tony Nice. Yeah. Um, I did like that Goldust did Enzo's little dance outside the ring. That was entertaining. It's funny when people imitate mm-hmm. him. Mm-hmm. I, but, st- I still miss Drew Gulak. I don't know what happened to that guy. Him and his cowboy hat. It mm. was bad. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what that was about. Um, but yeah, Cedric wins here with the lumbar check. Not mm-hmm. a huge surprise. Oh, not They're not going to have him lose to uh, Tony one Nies. of uh, Enzo's cronies. Especially the week, what, two weeks before the Rumble? Yeah. So. Yep. Uh, he'll probably not even win the title mm-hmm. at the Rumble anyway. So. Yeah. We'll see. Mm hmm. Um, so yeah, up next, who, uh, we got backstage <laughs> angle says that he wants to call the SWAT team <laughs> and so then he gets a phone call. Um, it was pursu- it was pretty obvious that it was someone above him. Mm-hmm. And then he, I uh, knew. yeah, it's his old school ringer, right? Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Um, and then it, <laughs> and then someone comes over and tells him that Braun's heading Is to it- the TV trucks. <laughs> Those are expensive. They're what, twelve million dollars or something like <laughs> that? Something he said. Dumb. <laughs> but it was just the way he said it. It was like, yeah, mm, you don't sound too concerned, really. Yeah. Well, you know, he's acting. Yeah. He's not very good at acting. It's so. true. So anyway, they come back. They go to commercial. Mm-hmm. They come back, and Braun is heading to uh, <laughs> the truck. <laughs> yeah. It was such an old truck because Booker T was on there. Well, and yeah, but I think that's just, is that what they normally I think that's do? That's what they do. I yeah. think it's like legends and yeah, stuff like that. Because Austin was on it yeah. and Trish, and then the other one was more recent wrestlers. Yeah. I think they travel with just both of them. Mm-hmm. So he walks in. He goes, "How do I turn this <laughs> off?" So clearly he. <laughs> what does under- this do if I smash it? Yeah. Clearly, he doesn't understand how technology works because he didn't learn that in monster school or whatever. (laughs) He could have just got a bucket of water and started going to town. Or just punch the screen. (laughs) That would work, too. Well, not the screen, but like the the -hmm. devices and stuff. We Uh, did get a Kevin Dunn sighting. Yeah, it's true. (laughs) Um, But he says that he's shutting everything down. (laughs) And then he walks to the end of the the truck Mm -hmm. And then he, like, starts screaming at everybody. And then he gets off the truck. And then he disappears. And we get the, somebody's five seconds of fame going, I think he's gone, or something <laughs> like that. Yeah. And <sighs> then all of a sudden, everything starts shaking. <laughs> and apparently the... Oh, yeah, because uh, everybody runs back to their desks yeah. and whatnot. Hurry up. Get back to your positions. <laughs> so, uh, and then everything starts shaking. And it shows from the outside that the trailer got detached from the tractor Mm -hmm. and then he pulls the trailer out and (laughs) and then instead of trying to flip the trailer which obviously was going to be a little heavier right he decides that he wants to flip the tractor (laughs) over for no reason yeah he started to and then he looked around at everybody right and then like people are watching right (laughs) make sure it counts yeah so he successfully flips over the tractor <laughs> and then uh and then that's the point where he starts making his way to the stage mm-hmm. i believe goes to the commentator's <laughs> he desk look, he looks toward them and michael cole and booker t bounced off each other and michael cole hit the ground i was i lost it at that actually i lost it through the whole first hour i was dying yeah um, so Michael Cole's on the ground. He picks him up by, by his, his belt. Yeah. By his pants. Yeah. Drags him over to the, uh, the far side of the stage opposite the announcer table. Michael Cole has gotten to be a bigger man than he was. Well, so 
He's kind of old, though, so yeah. in all fairness. I guess so. So you see Kurt Angle and his security <laughs> flunkies walk, uh, come out, and then they're standing there like, no, don't do it. And they all kind of group together. Kurt Angle is standing on the side going, don't do it. And he shucks Michael Cole into the group of security <laughs> yeah. guards. And Well, before that, right, he reinstated. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. He was said he was on the phone with Stephanie, yeah. and Stephanie said, you're you're back in the title, or you're hired back, and uh, you're back be. in the title match yeah. at Royal Rumble. <laughs> so and at that point, Braun really obviously doesn't care about any of this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> and then that's when he throws Michael Cole into the sea of security guards. Yeah. And Kurt Angle's standing there, and when he throws him, he goes like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yep. And then we get uh, Tom Phillips to replace Michael Cole. Yes. Um, I guess the atomic wedgie that he had suffered was too much for him to uh, sit down for the rest of the night. Yeah, it was, it was funny because, because they all caught him, so it's not like... Oh, yeah, he was fine. <laughs> So, but um, in the mixed match challenge, they on the commentary, it's like, yeah, you had a rough night last night, didn't you? It's like, yeah, we'll talk about that next week. <laughs> that was pretty funny. So up next, we have Nia Jax versus Asuka, which was mentioned earlier in the night that the match would be happening. Yes. Um, I was concerned. I, enjoyed- I was concerned about this match. Yeah, I was too. Yeah, because I I honestly figured that they'd do something stupid. Oh, well. Speaking of stupid, Booker T's commentary was awful. Well, that's Booker T every week. Because I think he was saying that Oscar, this could be the match that Oscar's going to lose. And then two minutes later, he was like, Oscar's got this 100%. Yeah. You know? Well, he said that uh, everyone's everyone's uh, winning streak ends except for Mayweather's. <laughs> that's what he said. <laughs> it's like, oh, that's, that's really helpful there, Booker. But so. yeah, no, they, I thought they put together a good match. No, the match was good, yeah, 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 and yeah. my concern was the way that they'd booked the finish, because mm-hmm. obviously you really don't want them to to have a clean yeah. finish. So having Nia like get injured is probably the best way to yeah. do it. So I guess what were they going back up into the ring? Right, Nia was, mm-hmm. and she was on the steps. And what did Oscar kick? legs out yeah or? i think she knocked her yeah. down so naya one leg landed between the ring post and the ring steps and yes. went down and then she landed well, on her ass when she fell and she was toppling over you could see that her knee wrenched mm-hmm. on the stairs yeah it looked yeah, that it looked, seemed like that a dangerous part, that part looked legitimate mm-hmm. whereas it looked like she was kind of just supposed to fall over but in the process of falling over, she snagged her leg. Right. So I don't think that part was supposed to happen. Yeah. I think the injury part was supposed to be just mm-hmm. from her getting stuck in right. between. Because I don't know if it was maybe supposed to be a count out. Yeah. And, and then when she went back in the ring, she says, oh, crap, I got to sell this. Yeah, I actually can't. Yeah. But I would imagine that she's fine. Mm, yeah. But uh, we would have heard all yeah news on it. it would have been much it, it was probably it might have been yeah. uncomfortable but mm-hmm. it probably isn't that bad so the referee was i think up to nine and she gets back in the ring and yeah. then she could no longer compete as yes. she couldn't put any weight on the foot yes and oscar wins by forfeit well i is that a forfeit i, I guess you I can't wrestle well because it's not like she said i quit yeah the referee said that she could no longer compete mm-hmm. so I think that would be like more of a, a technical knockout, right? Or is that necessarily? Do you have to be unconscious to be? Well, I think it's unable to finish, finish the match. Yeah, so I don't know. Fair enough. Yeah, very good. Um, an interesting note, mm-hmm. a somewhat interesting note. Um, Alexa Bliss came out to check on Nia Jax. Yeah. So I know that they're kind of like in real life they are friends, mm-hmm. but on TV they're kind of in the middle. Right. Well, when should we get to again? Well, yeah, later, later on. on. But it, so it kind of, that kind of leads to a possible, like, real injury kind of thing. Yeah. But obviously, they play off of that. All right. So up next, we got backstage, Kurt Angle is in his office, and Jason Jordan walks up. How freaking good was Jason Jordan during this? It was so good. He was so unaware of his surroundings. He played he played the part perfectly. So Angle's office is in shambles. He's obviously disturbed. He's basically, you know, fearing for his life still. Yeah. And uh not having a good night. No, Jason Jordan comes in, he goes, 
just wanted to thank you for giving me the opportunity uh, a couple weeks ago. <laughs> and J- Kurt's just looking around at the destruction. He's as like, now's not the time. As Jason has this, you know, stupid look on his face. Mm-hmm. And, uh, <laughs> I don't know, and he thanked him for believing in him. Yes. And then he said, oh, I, I, had your, I was out there. The, I had your back the whole time while uh, Braun was uh, causing his destruction. And then uh, he suggests a match uh, later on tonight for Seth to get retribution on Finn Balor from last week. Yes, because I think he said he wanted a, a match to get Seth back into the right state of mm-hmm. mind. Yes. And um, so Angle goes, you want another tag match? He's like, no, no, no. Seth Seth wants a singles match. <laughs> so uh, so they make the match against yeah, him. Yeah, Kurt did Balor. like that idea. Yes. Um. Yeah, no, they're doing a good job with Jason Jordan this whole Well, it's they're taking the the baby face the happy baby face character and transitioning him into kind of like the the lifeable likable dope mm-hmm. kind of guy. Yeah. Having Seth Rollins a more believable, you know, I guess tough guy, mm-hmm. you know, look down on him. So they went from just the happy-go-lucky baby face to a, you know, like a, a nerd. It's a moosel. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> That's uh, for damn sure. I, I think it's good stuff. Yeah, oh, yeah. Mm. It, 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 he's doing a good job in the role. And yeah, that's, he's playing. That's all you can ask yeah, for. Yeah, and Seth is definitely helping him a yeah. lot. So. And if this is their intended path for it, I, I have to... I guarantee this isn't what they thought two months ago. No, 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 no. But, but when they said, you know, here's what we're going to do. Yeah. Then... Yeah, I gotta give him props on that. Yeah. So th- this is working. Mm-hmm. Um, all right. So backstage, uh, Nia Jax is in, I guess, the trainer's room. Yeah, whatever. he's got ice on her knee, right? I yeah. Think. Uh, Alexa Bliss is freaking out because uh, she thinks Jax is injured. Mm-hmm. Enzo comes over, and uh, Bliss is like, We got this, Enzo. Don't worry. And then Nia's Nia kind of like, just giving her the eyes. Yeah. Nia's like, he- He's got this. And then Alexa just mm-hmm. leaves. So more dissension caused by uh, caused by that smelly looking guy, <laughs> Enzo. Uh, so up next we have the revival against yeah. uh, a couple of jobbers. So I don't think they even got named. No, they didn't. So this is strange because this is not going to end well for the revival. No, we all know exactly where this is headed, and yeah. I knew about it before I, you know. It, it was brought up by other people. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Well, so they win yeah. with, sorry, they win with the Shatter Machine. Of course. And, uh, it was Charlie, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I believe I think so. so. She interviewed them after the match. At least they won. Mm-hmm. Um, so mm-hmm. they called themselves professional wrestlers. Yeah. That's not a sports entertainer. That's a hot button topic. Yes. Especially with Mr. McMahon. Mc, McHone. Yeah. The FTR, uh, chance will be coming out next week the what ftr ftr yeah or ftrr you have to look it up okay uh so anyway he they get asked about what the 25th anniversary right of raw next week are they excited to meet the legends the legends that's right and then they you know that's when they said that they're professional wrestlers they don't care about all the legends Mm -hmm. and stuff like that they're sports entertainers yes we don't care about them Mm -hmm. we just put on a clinic of tag team wrestling they just make a mockery of the business yes um so that means that they're just gonna get beat up yes they're gonna get destroyed because yeah they she brought up like the new age outlaws and stuff like that so they're gonna be told to suck it Mm -hmm. they're gonna Um, take everyone's finishers mm -hmm. no no i think now i think about it well billy gunn's got the Got the famouser. Did mm-hmm. Road Dog have finisher? Uh, yeah, the pump handle slam. Oh yeah, that's right. I <laughs> forgot about that. And the shake, rattle, and roll. Yep, 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 yep. But they'll probably he'll Not probably good. eat a three D. Oh yeah, because the Dudleys are gonna be mm-hmm. there. Maybe through a table. It's possible. So uh, that'd be funny. I'd like that. <sighs> so and no matter how ridiculous this show. Is gonna be because it's gonna be it's, ridiculous. Yeah, especially being from two locations. Yeah. So, also, do we have any details on exactly how that's gonna go? It looks like the legends are gonna be at the Manhattan Center. No, 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 no. I meant uh, in terms of how it's gonna flow on TV. Not a clue. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be a mess. Mm-hmm. Anyway, mm-hmm. let's uh, let's move on because okay. I'm sure we'll have plenty to talk about it. Yep. 
next That's week. That's true. So we have Elias coming out since uh, apparently he no longer wrestles. He just sings. That's fine. Um, he was what here to introduce The Miz, right? Well, first, he sang a song. and Oh, about getting retribution on John Cena, right? Yes. At the Royal Rumble. So I don't really get where they're going with this. Everybody's just, it's just like, oh, well, I guess this, since Samoa Joe is no longer able to compete at the Royal Rumble, we got to put Cena on to somebody else. Yeah, but I don't like that because it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Unless it's kind of just the throwaway thing. I, I would assume. But you don't know. You know. Sometimes they give... Uh, you had to read between the lines. Yeah, but I'm just I'm just saying I really hope this doesn't lead to a, like a program between... It shouldn't. That's that's what I was concerned about. I don't about. see it. They had but, their one match, that was it. Plus, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense for him to be calling him out. You know what I mean? There's so many people he could be doing that. Right. Anyway, so... He uh, sings that song, and then he sings another song introducing the Miz to Raj. Mm-hmm. Um, and then at that point, obviously, the Miz yep. and uh, Curtis Axel and Bo Dallas come out. Yep. Who had a handicap match, Bo Dallas and Curtis Axel, against mm-hmm. Roman Reigns, which was coming up next. Yep. But first, the Miz comes out and he, he says that next week he's going to take back his Intercontinental title. Yep. He kind of won over him, making the IC title relevant again, mm-hmm. and that he was the spark that was needed when he was gone. Yes. So, yeah. Because when he was gone, Raw wasn't the same. Mm-hmm. It sure. wasn't, wasn't Brock put... Lesnar. Nope. It wasn't, I don't know, he probably came up with other. Yeah. Wasn't uh, Roman Reigns. No, they put the uh, Elias in Miz's spot. And then they Miz did, came yeah. back and they were like, oh, crap, we got to do something with Elias. Oh, you know what? Introduce the Miz. I was going to say, enough. I have no problem with him working with them. No, it's fine. Yeah. Because they've been doing a really good job of creating stables. And if they grow in size, mm-hmm. it gives you more... Uh, more, uh, more, more possibilities? P- yeah, more people with TV time. Yes. Stuff, so it's good. Very true. All right, so uh, up next we have that handicap match. Yeah, not much to uh, say about this no. one. Roman won. Whoa. I know. I know. I was shocked. Yeah, so uh, he So hits... he beat two guys, and next week he might not be able to beat one. Well, in all <laughs> fairness... Oh, before we get into this, did Tom Phillips say that Roman and The Miz were going to fight at the Royal Rumble? I could have sworn instead of the Royal 25th episode, he said the Rumble. He could have. I didn't notice. Yeah, I, I could have sworn he said that. Um, But like I was going to say, in all fairness, last or a couple weeks ago, Finn beat the two of them as well. Oh, yeah, that's right. So it's not like this is out of the mm-hmm. Right, the and then the week of... after is when they had the club and Finn join, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's it's not like it's out of the realm of possibility for the two of them to lose to somebody. Yep. Um, but yeah. Yeah. So that, that was not a very noteworthy uh No, we anything. all knew what was going to happen yeah. here. Uh, so that, that was what? Roman's only spot on TV, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. A very um, brawn-heavy show. Yeah. Or at uh, least the first hour was so, like majority him. Yeah, I think this was like the start-ish of the third hour. And as sad as this sounds, I called what was going to happen through the entire last hour. What? Like I knew exactly what was going to happen. What? Like I knew Women's we were going to have a women's match, Rollins and Jason Jordan backstage, well, yeah, about that. the Matt Hardy match, and then the Finn and Seth match, which was already slated. It's just you kind of tell. It's true. Yeah. Well, that's usually how it goes. Mm-hmm. It's like okay, they give you an idea of what's going to happen. You know, in the last hour, there's going to be a, a big match at the be or towards the end of the second hour. Yeah. Beginning of the third. Yeah. And so, then. It's going to be either a cruiserweight or a women's segment yeah. leading into That's the true. end. But, um, uh, but yeah. Up next, we had Sasha Banks versus Sonya Deville. I uh, believe before the match got underway, or maybe it was during, they had made the comment that Paige would not be in the uh, Royal Rumble. I think it was during was the match. Was it during the match? Yeah. Yeah. I knew I heard it. And so. they, it was kind of uh, not a great way to announce that she's not going to be. No. Well, but then again, I guess... I don't think there's been a, an official WWE no. announcement. Nope, just that she was not going to be in the Rumble. So rumors maybe. have been speculating that she is done wrestling. Or at least in the WWE. WWE. Yeah. So, but we'll see. Yeah. Um, this match was, it wasn't bad. No, it ended bad, strange. Yeah, it was an abrupt ending. I don't yeah. like when they do this, but I guess that's how they've been handling a lot of countered top rope moves, like automatically go to a finish. 
like in mid card level it matches makes sense it, you know yeah it's it, just you go f- it's you know it's this high risk and it, i think yeah. booker t said that it's like that's i you i don't put stock into something I that know, booker t said but it's it, still it, it was said by somebody so there's <laughs> somebody <laughs> It's Booker T, man. I know, I know, I know. Just think he's going to run for what, mayor, right? Is it something like that? Anyway. Avoid Texas, that's, people. He, he said that that's the problem with those high-risk maneuvers. Yeah. It's high risk. Mm-hmm. I know. He's crazy. He's dumb. <laughs> he's he doesn't crazy. know what he's talking about. <laughs> but he made a good point there. Yeah. It's probably the only one he made all night. Fair enough. But he made one. Yeah, I don't know. Banks was maybe going for the double knees or something like that. She was jumping off the top rope. Yeah, and then her. Sonya Deville kicked her in the ribs, and that was it. Yeah, it was, was surprising. Abrupt. Maybe it was kind of just because they're not entirely sure what they want her finisher to be. Because I think she's more submission based. Isn't yeah, she? probably. Yeah, and you don't want so, uh, Sasha to tap. Yeah, because her thing is tapping other people out. Right. So, because I don't think she wins by pin very mm-hmm. often. So. All right, so we go backstage, and Seth Rollins and Jason Jordan are in the locker room together, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. So, and uh, of course, Rollins is not happy with the way Jason went about getting him his match. Yes, he's, he, was, he said that he's not he's not upset about what he did. Right, it was the way how, he did it. Yeah, he said we're teammates, man. Yeah, you don't speak for me. We work mm-hmm. together. Yes, so. which is fine. I I, I do like. <laughs> the storyline between the two yeah it's working it's it's working exactly all right so up next we have matt hardy mm-hmm. the woken warrior mm-hmm. against heath slater they listened hold on hold on what there was a tweet sent out by senior benjamin that okay. said john cena if you're done with your shovel can i borrow it <laughs> it was amazing Completely irrelevant, <laughs> but it's very funny. But they got rid of the Hardys thing? Yeah, yeah, they actually, it said, I think it said, maybe it said Woken. Woken. It was probably a no, Kevin. No, it said Delete, I delete? think. Delete? Uh, okay, Which that's Which makes cool. sense. They uh, they put him in the 2K game. They actually had the Woken Matt Hardy. Really? Yes. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, so somebody yeah. posted up. Nice, that's cool. Unless it was it like had the f- music and everything. Oh, yeah, the Wow. Yeah, the video, yeah. Huh. So, uh, but yeah. Heath Slater lost. Mm-hmm. I know it's not really surprising. No, um, I don't think this is going to lead anywhere with the whole Rhino and Heath Slater making oh. him tougher, right, or whatever. Because the only way, the only place it can go, I'm splitting up. Yeah, but, but that, you need a job or tag team on the. Yeah, I was well. That you just don't really need them to split up. It's mm-hmm. like Gold Dust and Our Truth. Yeah. Like, that didn't go to anywhere. They just stopped teaming together. Fair enough. Unless this is Rhino just getting written off TV. It's possible. That would be the only thing you would think could come from that. Yeah. So. Uh, That was that. After that, we had the announcement, or I guess the announcement, official announcement Mm -hmm. on Raw. Yes. That Goldberg will be in the Hall of Fame for 2018. Yep. And they played a clip of a bunch of different things at Goldberg. Apparently, they came out with another or a new Goldberg special. Oh, did they? I think so. Either that or they just talked about the old one again. They showed clips of it on SmackDown, I think. Sure. Uh, sure. Anyway. Who's out of the room for SmackDown? <laughs> it's good. So, uh, and then we have our main event. Mm-hmm. We got Finn Balor versus Seth Rollins. Yes. Um, it, was, it was a good match. Uh, the end kind of got a little cluttered so to speak you're gonna have to speak i was uh i went sleepy (laughs) (laughs) so um at the uh towards the end of the match sheamus and cesaro come out as kind of retribution for what happened earlier Mm -hmm. um so they chase jason jordan over to gallows and anderson um sheamus goes at jordan and then misses because Jason Jordan ducks out of the way, and then he walks like three feet further, then clotheslines um, uh, Gallows. And at this point, Gallows chases after him. Mm. But Carl Anderson had already been going after Cesaro, despite the fact that they were going after Jason Jordan. So it was it was a little was easily a little manipulated heels. Yeah, well, it was it was more of just bad timing and yeah. misdirection um 
so so they start fighting um so it's just the club and the bar going at it jason jordan sneaks away finn and seth are still wrestling in the ring um finn goes for the coup de gras rollins rolls out of the way um finn goes to bounce off the uh the ropes jason jordan grabs him by the legs slams on his face and then he's like in the the on all fours position um and then rollins kind of goes and then he hits the curb stomp which i was very surprised Mm -hmm. that they brought back dangerous and it's funny because they made it look like he wasn't actually supposed to do it Mm. off of like how he was acting um and then he hits the curb stop, and then uh, he gets the pin. Yeah, Finn sold the hell out of it. Oh, man. Yeah. It looked like yeah, he had a big looked, welt on his yeah. head. So, obviously, it did some damage. Yeah. But oh, he, yeah, you saw his head just mm-hmm. held the mat, because I did he, see, I did watch it, that the finish of it. Yeah, and he it took him a while to get up. Mm. Obviously, it probably wasn't legitimate, but... So we have a lot of wrestlers getting injured, but, you know, let's bring back a move that was deemed too dangerous. Well, the move wasn't deemed too dangerous. The move was deemed to be too dangerous sounding mm. oh really yeah it had nothing to do with the actual move it, it was the the you know the reputation yeah. of what a curb stop actually is fair enough so that's that's the whole yeah, reason now that why i was they, thinking back of yeah. that yeah so it has nothing to do with rollins doing the move i gotcha supposedly he's actually really safe with it mm-hmm. i well, think, i mean I, as long as you just Put your foot down and let the guy, your opponent, do all the work of yeah. going down. It's yeah. fine. Because I know that, I think he was on Jericho's podcast, mm-hmm. and he was talking about, it was probably right after the um, the move got banned, and he's like, yeah, there's nothing to do with how I do it. Uh, he's, it it's just, they don't like the, the way that... It, yeah, it sounds. Yeah, but also, at the same time, they... With the pedigree, and... That's true. It doesn't really make any sense, though. It's better than the knee. Oh, so bad. <laughs> and it's the funny knee! Because he went for, I think they called it, I think they called it the the spin-out knee. Because mm-hmm. he, like, takes the guy and pulls him towards him or whatever. Right. They He went for it a couple of times during the match, but he was unsuccessful in hitting it. Hmm. But, but, yeah, all in all, this is a good raw. Yeah. It was very entertaining. It was. I love Braun Strowman. He's the <laughs> definitely been a great addition and there's just a lot of storylines that are clicking Mm -hmm. so but yeah so that was our raw review if you liked what you saw here please like share and subscribe bye bye